name is Courtney. I own a 1972 AMC Javelin SST. Um, she has a 401 with a four speed. Um, it was my mom's car. She ordered it um, from Umberger Automotive, I believe is the name, in Westville, Virginia. When she purchased it, uh, the, I remember my dad telling me that the bank called and wanted to know what she had bought for that much money. And of course, my dad being the character and um, just being a jokester, he said, well, I don't know what she bought, but she must have really wanted it. <laughs> she picked out everything that she wanted on it. Um, it's orange. Uh, I can't say that I would have picked an orange car, but uh, she really loved it. And um, there's a lot of orange um, in my memories of her. Uh, several of her pieces of jewelry have orange. Um, I can remember some of her clothing that was orange. And unfortunately, I remember our bathroom in our little house was orange. <laughs> I guess that was like maybe a really hot color and design. I don't know, but she really loved it and she loved the car. And so um, it's definitely grown on me. One time I was in the front seat and uh, I was goofing off, I don't know, being a kid. And my mom was like, hold on. Um, and we took off from the stoplight and I just went flying forward <laughs> and hit my face. Um, actually on the back of the seat, I think I must have been sitting backwards, but um, I can just remember like, you know, that moment and the power of that car. And um, I can always remember when I was little, like hearing it come in. And I remember when I was little too, he would be in the garage tinkering with the car or working on something else. Um, but if he had his tools out and had the creeper out, um, I would end up getting on the creeper and I had like, pulling out little wrenches that were big enough to fit in my hand and like getting up under the car and, and tinkering with, the, with it, um, pretending I was working on it and fixing it. Um, so it's kind of neat to go from the idea of it being in our old garage and me tinkering with it to now it's still in my garage and I'm still tinkering with it. Well, my mom got sick, so we moved in with my grandmother and my uncle and um, one day my dad was working on the javelin. I can't remember exactly what he was doing, um, but he got very angry with it. He, it wasn't cooperating with him. Um, so he went inside and just blowing off some steam, made the comment that he just wanted to drive it off a cliff somewhere. He was fed up with it. And um, the first person that came along with $50, he'd be more than happy to let him have it. So my grandmother went in the back room and grabbed $50 and gave it to him. <laughs> and so um, it ended up, uh, my uncle uh, owned it and he drove it for a while. Um, my cousins have driven it. And um, so I'm told um, it was once the fastest car in Roanoke, um, but although no one wants to fess up to how they figured that out. Um, but so it's, it's been driven by several family members um, before it was parked in the garage. Um, and then when my uncle got sick, um, it was the decision was made that it was time that he kind of started selling off some of his, of his vehicles. Um, he had several that he had purchased over the years that he had held on to and um, fixed up here and there. So um, I went to my uncle and said, you know, I've always loved Javelin. It was my mom's. I want it back. <laughs> um, and so we talked about me buying it. And of course, he had several offers of some pretty good deals. Um, people are willing to pay for it. But um, in our conversation, we kind of joked that, you know, I know what you paid for it. So, <laughs> um, so we came to an agreement and then I purchased it back. So even though I own the Javelin, I have yet to drive it. Um, by the time I was old enough to drive it, I just, I wasn't a around um, that much. So it's set and it needs some work. Um, when I did buy it and we brought it home, um, we discovered third gear is out of it, um, but she still really wants to go. 
Uh, so I kind of have a history of a lead foot myself. So <laughs> I think um, right now my husband is just a little too leery to let me out on the road and open her up yet until she's in top running conditions. But she'll get there one day and I'll get to test her. I don't know if I would ever buy anything else orange, but I will own this orange car for the rest of my life.